Hey guys, just watch this video. I recorded it so I can share it with you. And so I want to talk about it quickly because you know, it's, um, you know, selling your art. The thing is, if you understand about business, we are not in the best business to make money. Like one side, that's one side. And that's not the whole side. Because so first of all, why I say this is because we have a huge com competition. There are lots of artists out there, lots of artists that are great artists that are great at their skill and that, you know, also want to make money. And there are also some that don't want to make money, but there are a few that want to make money. And there are lots of great artists, right? So that's one issue. That's like when you create a business, if you want to make money, usually you would choose something that makes more logical sense where you really can determine, you know, is this a good idea or not? But when we start as artists, we don't do this because, you know, necessarily because of money. We start usually because we want to express ourselves, because it's our passion uh, or, or whatever reasons, right? But usually it's a passion choice. It's not like a money choice. It's not a logical decision we make. Because we are like, okay, when we do this and when we create this business, we can make a lot of money. And uh, no, that's not how we do it. We're like, okay, that's my passion. I want to make money with this. That's how we decide, right? But we still have the dreams of becoming free and have money because we all want this. So that's one problem. The other, But other thing is it's still possible because there are artists making a lot of money. So it is possible. And that's probably also what keeps us in the game. I must say I had many times when I wanted to give up give up because I, I'm like, you know, this doesn't go fast enough. I mean, I can be very lucky that I'm that I can make a living and that it worked in 2020 so well. But it's not always been easy, right? Yet there are artists that are making tons of money. That's what we need to remember. They are they are like super successful artists. And I see more and more. And that's a cool thing. The more you see successful artists, the more you start believing it's possible. Because our biggest enemy is doubt. Because doubt is not something that, you know, we will manifest in the future. Doubt is something we manifest right now when we doubt, when we doubt, right? Because you suddenly feel low energy. You know, when you doubt, you don't have the energy to, you know, move forward and take massive action. No, you don't. You you, you feel small, you feel low energy, or, you know, you're kind of, oh, it's, you know, I'm not sure if this is working. Oh, no, I don't want to do another exhibition because the last time didn't work. I don't even know if it, you know, like that's kind of the kind of energy. But if you believe it's possible, if you're, yeah, Oliver makes money with it and he made money and he made that and he also did it. So it must be possible. Yes, there is a way. So I'm going to do another exhibition. I'm going to do like four exhibitions a month or whatever. But that's the, the, that's the whole topic of this conversation right now. And I shared a video with you. But... The, she talks to an art collector and, and he talks about what he loves about her work and he collected multiple artworks and he's a doctor so he has money and that's people we need but what he says is basically the pieces he loves the most from her and he, why he loves them so much and he says because they stand out the most we get the, the most requests and interest of these pieces and if somebody buys something from you, we all have the need or the, the desire to for acknowledgement. Even people, especially people that buy something, right? And you might know that as well, when you buy clothes or whatever, it's always a thing you want to have an acknowledgement. And it's not the same for everyone. For somebody, a Rolex might be status and acknowledgement. For another person, might be like something economic, like uh, like um, electrical car. That's like, because in your field, in your environment, that's what gives you status. Or others reading books gives you status in your circle or whatever. So I hope they make sense. But the point is, what he said is very interesting. It stands out. And why does it stand out, these artworks? And if you look at the artworks, they really do stand out. And it teaches us a super, super important lesson about us as artists. Because there are so many artists, so that's the one side, right? That's the problem we have. There are so many artists, there's a huge competition. We call it there is a, a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise in the art world. And it's hard to stand out if you play along like they do. If you if you have your volume quiet, nobody's going to notice you. And if nobody's going to notice you, you know, you're not going to be very successful, right? So look at your pieces. This is very special. I agree. This is something that stands out. Um, I don't know exactly how she... You know how you would do that but it's it's cool right so it's something different it's actually something simple but it's big it's colorful it's you're kind of different and and i want you to think about that too think about that in your life where can you stand more out 
I mean, it always depends where you're at. It's a journey. You also need to understand that. That's something you need to keep asking yourself. And depending on where you're at in your journey, you get different answers. But I was asking myself that in 2020, and am I asking myself that again? And now I grew. I'm a different person, right? Three years later. And now I'm like, okay, how can I stand out? How can I go to the next level? Because again, if you, if you, do, if you do, like, if you're quiet, in a way, nobody will notice you, and if nobody will notice you, you're not going to sell. And I also, need, I also want to say, you can make a living with being quiet. You know, you can find your tribe. But again, you do have to be at least you. you this is like that's a minimum requirement to post in groups, right? That's already, you are making actually noise, right? You're making noise. And as an artist, you need to be a bit aggressive. You need to be like, you need to have the courage. This is why courage is so important to, to go out and ask. Without asking, nobody will give you anything, right? It's the same like galleries, customers, uh, newspapers. Look, here another article. Bam. It's like, it's like I calculated, it's like seven or eight newspapers that I was in now this year. And we have April, so that's like twice two a month or something. So this is cr pretty cool. And how did I do it? I was asking, I was sending emails to all, like to everyone. I was getting a list from all newspapers I could think of in Switzerland. Send everyone an email, all the same email with cool photos and so on and so forth. And of course, I was thinking about what I write. I didn't just write something stupid. I made something really nice. Actually, I had some friends helping me. But I was asking. That's the main part. I'm like ask without asking you don't get anything and if you want to play a bigger game you have to become more you you have to become louder it's it's very actually very simple think about damien hurst great example huge shark right exhibits a huge shark this this is like this is loud if you you know say in terms of no if, on in terms of uh, sound or volume it's like it's it's you he put the volume on maximum so nobody can ignore a huge shark in a room Right? Nobody. I mean, nobody. Every every single person. People that like art, people that hate art, people that love animals, people that hate animals, whatever. It's like everyone. Normal people, average people, artists, art collectors, uh, galleries, art curators, um, auction houses. Everyone will. This is attention grabbing. And we are living in an attention economy. Same with Instagram. If you're quiet on Instagram, you're not going to get attention. Instagram is another game, but again, it's a similar thing. It's like when you do something that's noisy, that's different, that's bigger, whatever it is, you need to find your thing, right? You need to think like if, if I would paint, paint portraits, I maybe would make it super detailed and big as well. I mean, bigger in art is just, it's more, you have a m bigger space to, to get attention in a way. If you think of, if you paint like a 40 times 40 centimeter painting, that's the, the space you're taking. But if you paint like a two, mo two times two meter painting, that's the space you're taking. And you're already getting more attention, also making videos or things like that will get you more attention because it's bigger. And I talked to an artist yesterday. Um, and the artist, we can talk about this on the call actually, but I was inspired to make the video. So I finished quickly. Uh, he made 100,000 in his younger years, you know, when he started. 100,000 on one weekend. One weekend. This is, so I'm like, the more you hear these things, the more you realize this is not out of the ordinary. This is not, this is quite, actually, artists are doing that. Not everybody's talking about it because I think there's a lot of secrecy, secrecy, especially for artists that are in galleries, I think, you know. But now we also see more and more artists, they showing their success on social media, which gives us courage. But I think there's still lots of artists, they don't talk about their numbers. They look quite normal, but they are actually making quite a lot of money. I mean, I also must say he needed to give 50% to the gallery, but it's still 50K in one weekend. You know what I mean? That, that's pretty, like, that's pretty life-changing. I mean, if you're making 50K in one weekend, I think your life would change a little bit, right? And if you could repeat that, I mean... <laughs> Anyways, the point is, the point is, um, I was talking to him, and he was telling, and he has he has experience. He said, "Make do bigger, big, because the thing is like the amateurs and the the professionals, the pro, you know, the the, the artists that are serious, they differentiate themselves in like he is painting bigger, like the pro is painting bigger paintings, the amateurs are painting small paintings, and and I'm like makes a lot of sense, yeah." 
I mean, you still, I made money with relatively small paintings. I actually never sold a big one like this. And you also need to assume, I mean, the thing is when you paint huge paintings, you're probably not going to sell it to an average person, but you could get the attention of bigger things like uh, hotels, you could, uh, galleries, art collect, real art collectors that have big houses. Um, I don't say this is the first thing you should do because it is a bigger game and your first thing always is to sell if you didn't sell an artwork your first goal is always to sell your first artwork and basically the best size to do that is this this is relatively big but still not big too too big for people to hang and it's also not small so for this if you sell something like this the, oops, the customer also have a, has a feeling that he is getting something right a small piece it's a bit harder to sell but it works too right a small pe small pieces big pieces i sold everything so but I hope this is, you know, this is just like this video, some food for thoughts. Um, and there's something you can think of again and again. Like this something you, yeah, it's like thinking about your art business, right? And, and thinking about how to play a bigger game. And uh, you don't need to come up with answers immediately. But maybe out of this video, you get some inspiration how you can play a bigger game. And how you can get more attention. Because that's really the game we're in. It's like... If, if like another thing to get attention would be to be the best but I think that's really hard it's very subjective art right it's very subjective everybody likes something different so I think it's not about that but I think it, yeah it's definitely also finding a style a very like something that grabs people's attention and I found some paintings now that I think you know I got lots of compliments from these splash paintings and now I, I want to do them bigger um, but just also like exploration just keep painting keep exploring I think not enough art coaches talk about that. They say, yeah, your art doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. In in many cases, it's true because I think lots of artists are pretty, pretty talented, right? So most artists are very talented. This is why we paint, but um, it does play a role still, right? And, but if you, I mean, I do abstract, right? I didn't, didn't even learn this. So it's not about, you know, so that's, art is very subjective. So I don't think it's about becoming the best. It's just like, yeah, doing something so, doing something different, something unique, something people didn't see, and do it bigger, so it, you know, takes up more space. So hope that helps, some gives you some inspiration, and we talk soon.